then going into the Paralympic sport and then sharing yeah. knowledge across from one sport to I, another. I did talk to the British coach, Tom Agger, who's coming up, Tom Dyson, and said, you know, have you got one of those seats? He said, no, but we probably will have before the Olympics. So, you know, they are looking for these. Um, and I know Eric Horry, the Australian Scalacera, he, he has a specially um, designed seat, doesn't he? Very, yeah. very thin and narrow. Yeah, I think he was one of the first um, athletes to really start the development and, and change in um, both the equipment being used and also the style of, um, of rowing as well. He's uh, been one of the technical pioneers in this sport and uh, we saw him win the World Championship so emphatically last year and uh, he's going to have it all on uh, to, to try and do that again today but he's uh, been moving forwards in, in leaps and bounds. He's been uh, just, like I say, a pioneer and... Um, just doing so amazingly well over the last two years since winning the silver medal at the London Paralympics. Racing in a moment, and they'll be up against the scholar Stephen Haxon from the USA, who is in lane one. So we take a look now across the six boats. Fabrizio Caselli from Italy. Again, going through those mental rehearsals. British scholar Tom Agger. So long the dominant force in this, but had it taken away from him at the London Olympics. And then we're going to see the reigning world champion, Eric Horry from Australia. And then from Russia, we've got Alexei. Chuveshev. Chuveshev, I think they say that one, Greg. Chuveshev. Thank you. And then from Brazil, Olivia Luna de la Fluenia. Oh. So Luna de Oliveira from Brazil at the bottom of the screen there in lane six. As we have a look here at the Italian scholar, Caselli, taking a look to each side, just sizing up the competition, and now getting focused back within his own boat as the crews prepare themselves for the final call over. And you would think that the race will be between Tom Agar and Eric Horry. I mean, what what history they have in this event and um, they've been so dominant for so many years of course the two heat winners uh, and then Italy uh, Caselli won his repercharge the second repercharge and uh, Chuvashev from Russia winning the other repercharge so the four boats in the middle certainly we'd be looking for the race to be dominated uh, from the inside out of course the top seeds going into the middle of the course that being Tom Agar and Eric Horry A great start there from Eric Horry as he drew the boat out of the start right as the light turned green. Well, he's really flown out, as has uh, Alexei Chuvashev from Russia. Big, strong start there. Tom Agar getting dropped off just in the first few strokes, but um, a great start there from lanes four and five. And interestingly, the Brazilian out in lane six. Yeah, Brazilian moving really well here, isn't he? Going right out with that early pace as well as Stephen Haxon at the top of the screen from the USA. But something really interesting that we're seeing here from lanes four and five from uh, Alexi and Horry, which we didn't quite see in the women, is that lean back over the back of the chair. That's really interesting. That's not something that I've noticed in this technique before. Uh, squeezing every inch out of the stroke that they can. And so uh, quite an interesting development there. You can see it particularly well in lane five and lane four with uh, and Chuvashev. It's great to see uh, Steve Haxton on the far side, top of your picture, the American uh, in the picture. I mean, he used to row at high school and then he had uh, terrible illness and had to have his leg amputated and uh, nearly lost his life. And uh, he's had the journey from that terrible experience now to the US rowing team. Um, with the infection brought under control and uh, here he is in the 
adaptive final of the arms and shoulders just uh, looking across at the world champion Eric Horry. And Eric Horry's just starting to edge away, isn't he? Just getting that close-up shot of him there. It's just interesting to see, really. The blade's coming through quite slowly because he's on such a tight gearing. Again, so short between the, uh, the button and the blue handle on the oar, which just allows him to just connect up so much. But you can just see every single stroke is like a, like a real arm pull in the gym, and the heaviest load you could possibly put on there to try and get maximum speed. He just looks so strong here, and as you said, Martin, it's his race to lose, uh, and it certainly doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon. Uh, Eric Horry, coached by Jason Baker from the Penrith Lakes uh, Rowing Club, he uh, had a car crash at 21 years of age and uh, went on to play basketball for Australia uh, and then found rowing only uh, a few years ago. It's interesting, isn't it, as Horry goes through 500 metres, the halfway point, and the three scholars cross the line together. I'd pick Tom Agger to, uh, to bring the bones out of this, probably to get ahead of Haxton and the Russian scholar Chuvashev. We know uh, Agger's got a strong finish, but um, last season wasn't his best form, came out of the medals in the World Championships in Chengdu, but um, Ch Chuvashev beat him on that occasion, but uh, the British team think Agger's moving much better this year. Sorted his technique out, really hadn't had the injury problems that he had last year. And they do expect him to really put in a good time. And it looks like that's proving to be effective there, Sarah. Yes, he definitely looks like he's pulling in the puddles of Eric Horry, who's been very dominant in, in the early stage. What a huge move uh, Tom Egger has made in the second half of this race. And we wouldn't expect anything less from a four-time world champion and Paralympic gold medalist. Yeah, it was Chevashev who was up with the early pace, but it's Tom Agger who's come through, um, as he did in Egg Ballet, where uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, Tom Agger did manage to beat Chevashev, but Horry wasn't there on that occasion. And now he is in, clearly into silver medal position and wondering whether he might be able to row down Horry as they come in towards the Red Boys and get to the last 250. But a really great performance on the far side there from Stephen Haxton, very much in contention for the bronze medal position with Alexei Chuvashev from Russia. Uh, this is his first year on the scene and uh, it's fantastic to see him here at only 24 years of age, or 23 years of age, sorry, uh, competing at his first World Championships. To walk away with a bronze medal would be uh, an incredible feat, but just with the edge for that bronze medal at the moment is Alexei Chuvashev from Russia in lane five. Yeah, that's a great shout. There's Eric Horry and there's Chuvashev. That's the bronze medal race. You can see how widely he's drawing his blades at the finish of the stroke, right to the side of his body. You get a shot of some of the other scholars, you'll see the contrast. And Chuvashev's power has just taken him away from the American. But uh, I do think Agger's fighting back on Horry. He's not going to get through him. They've got about uh, 30, 30, 40 seconds to go. But it is a good performance by the Brit. Yeah, Tom Agger really trying to close it down, but this is the big race for the bronze medal. Chuvashev just caught his blade earlier when we saw a shot of him. He's managed to get away from the boy line, I think, and he's just going to be able to allow him to hold on for the bronze. But Horry, and let's see, this is a great race for the bronze medal. Oh, yes. And it was just Chuvashev who got that bronze medal ahead of Stephen Haxon. That was well spotted. Fabio Cassani and then Luciano Luna de Oliveira crossing the line in sixth. Just that sound there. You get a good shot of the strapping, you know, to support them so they can't use too much if they've got any use of their upper body muscles. So the strap holds the upper body in place and then the strap holds the legs in place. There's Chuvashev and. Uh, he was injured in the war in Chechnya when he was in the army. And uh, two friends there, two big mates, they've raced each other so often. Tom Agger from Britain and Eric Horry from Australia. And uh, I think Tom Agger will have a massive smile to be back on the world podium um, again, Greg. Yes, I hope so. But that's our winner. And he's going to have a bigger smile as he gets his gold medal, which is confirmed there with Eric Horry in first.